So I'm, I'm very happy on behalf of the Capital Media family to make this presentation here this morning. Um, let me just, a couple of words quickly about the origin of this Capital Kids project. Um, we have a, a, a donor who has been very kind to us, who recognize the work that we are doing. And I want to say at the outset a big thank you to the Amarone Children's Trust for uh, giving us the resources to be able to do this uh, presentation. For us at Capital Media, our mission is that, yes, we, we have to keep people engaged and informed. We want to keep them entertained. We want to keep them up to date on things that are happening in the world. We want to keep them happy. We want to put a smile on their faces. We want to play the music they love every day and engage with them and so on. But we also want to have a purpose. And in everything that I've done in my life in media, we must also always have a purpose. So from early on in the get-go in Capital Media, we decided we were going to create um, opportunity and we were going to call it Capital Kids. Um, we have another project which we will talk about uh, another in another couple of days where we are doing another major donation in the name of our beloved and late Vioma Alley. But this particular project is really to assist the living water. And I'd like to say that this check that I have here, I wish, I wish this check was in my bank account um, because it would look a lot healthier um, than it does right now and I wouldn't perhaps have my creditors uh, calling and squealing at me. But I'm delighted on behalf of the Capital Kids uh, Project to give this donation to Living Water. We are aware of the work that you are doing in this community. Um, Living Water's reputation is known all over the region. And so we can't think of a better organization that we could give $40,000 to today to assist you in helping those who are in need. And uh, those are my few words on behalf of every one of us at Capital Media. Uh, some of the team members are here. I wish we could all have been here, but because of the, I wouldn't say social distancing, because I'm not socially distant, I'm physically distant. Um, right. Not, not socially, I'm, I'm very socially connected, but I'm physically distant. And, uh, and so we get that physical distance, uh, unfortunately, uh, at the moment. So everybody can't be here. But on behalf of the team, uh, I'm delighted to present this to you, I know that you will use it very wisely. Very wisely. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. And I thought we would have a little event market scene today, but however, we, I just want to say to you that we appreciate this so much and we appreciate what you are doing because the Living Water Community, as you say, has for its mission preferential option for the poor. That's our mission. And today you are helping us to realize our mission. This morning when I got up, I was a little bit out of it. I said, my God, when is this going to end? I opened my Bible and there was the reading for today's gospel. Let not your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust in Him still. And I stayed with the word still because I knew that this is a long time. It's a process. And that, you know, we just have to be open to whatever God wants, however He wants to lead us. I thank you for responding. I thank you for helping us to reach out and to touch the underprivileged, those who do not need. So when I hold their hands with social, not physical distance, when we see them, we give them the vibes, we recognize that it is Christ that we are happy. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for Shelly Ann and for Rebecca and for Brian and all of those who are here to help us to realize our work here in the Living Water community. It will go a long way. And we will, if we will be accountable. We will send you photos. We will let you know what's happening. Thank you. Thank well, you so much. Uh, thank you for that. That's a that's a very beautiful thought. And um, again, the this would not have been possible without our donor, without yeah. the generosity, really kind generosity yeah. of the Amarone Children's Trust. And I want to thank their representative, uh, Mr. Dave Sumrick, right. uh, for having the faith in us to allow us to spend this money. And to spend it wisely. Right. Yeah. Yes. All right. So here's the moment where I hand this check over to you. Oh, yes. Um, and then I'll put my mask back on as I as I as I'm required to do. Right.